हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू ई से अकेडमी In this lecture, let us understand Kirchhoff's current law and Kirchhoff's voltage law. The Kirchhoff's current law states that the algebraic sum of all the current meeting at a junction point is always equal to zero. So, summation of currents meeting at a junction will be equal to zero. So, if we consider this as an example, here we are having a junction point where we are having different current. that are flowing towards this junction as well as that are flowing away from this junction so the current that are flowing towards the junction point is assumed to be positive and the current that are leaving the junction point is assumed to be negative therefore we can write i1 plus i2 minus i3 plus i4 minus i5 minus i6 is equal to 0 so here current i1 i2 i4 are moving towards the junction that's why it is considered as positive and the current i3 i5 and i6 are moving away from the junction that's why they are considered as negative so the algebraic sum of current will be equal to 0 therefore we can write i1 plus i2 plus i4 will be equal to i3 plus i5 plus i6 the kirchhoff voltage law states that the algebraic sum of all the branch voltages around a closed path or a closed loop is always equal to 0 so if you consider this as an example here the algebraic sum of all the branch voltages around a closed loop or a closed path will always be equal to 0 in this example we have connected two resistors in series with an voltage source here the voltage across the resistor r1 is v1 and the voltage across the resistor r2 is v2 therefore we can write v minus v1 minus v2 is equal to 0 here while writing this equation we are moving in a clockwise direction in a closed loop and in a voltage source if we move from negative to positive we will consider that as positive and if we move from positive to negative we will consider that as negative that's why we have written positive sign for the source voltage v and we have written negative sign for voltages v1 and v2 so it will be plus v minus v1 minus v2 will be equal to 0 so from this equation we can write v is equal to v1 plus v2 this is about kirchhoff's current law and kirchhoff's voltage law hope you have understood the topic thank you